Welcome to Visual Web Ripper. In this demonstration, I'll show how to extract data from a website listing vacation homes. First, I'll enter the website URL up here. The website is now loading. I'll extract property information from all states in the USA, so I need to add a template that can follow all these links. I do this by first selecting one of the states. Then I click the Template tab and go to List Options over here. I now tick the Create List option and click OK to update the selection in the browser. You can see I've got too many links in my list, so I need to limit the selection a bit. I do that by clicking the Minus button up here. I've still got too many links selected, so I'll click the Minus button one more time. I've now got the selection I want, so I can go ahead and create the link template. I also want to extract the state names. Now when I open this template, Visual Web Ripper will navigate to the clicked link in the selection. This web page is listing all properties in one state, and I want to add a template that can follow all of these links. I could use the list options as I did before, but this time I'll use another, easier method. First I select one of the links I'm interested in, and then I right-click on the second link. I then select Create List from the context menu. Now that I have the selection I want, I can go ahead and create a link template with a current selection. I'm now on the Property Details page, and I can start selecting the content I want to extract. I want to extract the property name here, so I select the element and click the New button. I'll call this element Name. I'll do the same for the property description. I'll also extract the URL to the web page. I do that by adding a page attribute element. And over here, I select the URL page attribute. Now I want to extract this list of images. I do that by adding a page area template. A page area template is simply a defined area on the web page. I start by selecting one element, including image and image description. I can expand a selection by clicking on the plus button up here. Now I want to create a list of all the image elements, so I right click on the next element and select Create List in the context menu. I can now add the page area template. I'll call the template Image List. Now when I open this template, you'll see the background of the page area has turned light green. You'll see I can't select anything outside this page area. If I select an element inside the page area, you'll see that an element list is automatically created. This is because I'm selecting an element inside a page area that's already defined as a list. I will now add the image content element. An easy way of adding a content element is by shift clicking on the element. I also want to extract the image description.
I've now finished designing the project. I'll just save it. I can save extracted data in many different formats. In this project, I'll save data to an Excel spreadsheet. I'm now ready to run the project. I'll view the data extraction in a web browser and also turn on debugging. This is very slow, but it's a good way to run your first extraction so you can see if everything works as expected. You can now see how Visual Web Ripper navigates the website and extracts content. I'll stop the data extraction now and see what I've got so far. The first table contains the start URL. The second table contains the states, but I've only extracted data from one state so far. The next table contains the property details, and the last table contains the images for each property. And that's how easy it is to extract data with Visual Web Ripper. In this video, I've demonstrated the very basic features of Visual Web Ripper. Please visit the Visual Web Ripper website for more advanced training videos.